As you all know very, very well, uh, we have been engaged in the past couple of months in an intense focus uh, on Ukraine because of the significant buildup we've seen of Russian forces uh, near the uh, Ukrainian border. No provocation, no reason, um, except that uh, we have uh, a very significant force. Uh, we know that there are plans in place to increase that force even more on very short notice, and that gives uh, President Putin the capacity, uh, also on very short notice, uh, to take further aggressive action uh, against Ukraine. And we have uh, tried to make clear that there are two paths for, uh, for Russia. Uh, there is the path of diplomacy and dialogue to try to resolve whatever differences there are uh, peacefully through diplomacy clearly the preferable path, clearly the most responsible path, and the one that we would prefer. But there is also the, uh, the path, if Russia chooses to renew aggression, uh, of, uh, of conf confrontation and consequences uh, for Russia. And we have been working to build out both of those paths in very close coordination and collaboration with, uh, with allies and partners. Russia has deployed electronic warfare systems against NATO and the Nordic countries. Russia began to actively use its electronic jamming systems against NATO countries and the countries of Northern Europe. It is known that various types of military radar stations, radio monitoring equipment, etc. became the target of Russian electronic warfare systems. According to the Prime Minister of Norway, the situation began to deteriorate rapidly and at the moment there is a risk that Russian electronic warfare systems will completely cover the territory of a number of NATO countries and the countries of Northern Europe with a cap, paralyzing any transmission of radio signals and seriously disrupting the operation of electronic equipment. According to the Norwegian Prime Minister, Russia is stepping up hybrid operations, such as cyber attacks and signal jamming in Scandinavia, at a time of tension on NATO's eastern flank. Jonas Gar Stare, 61, said the cold winds of geopolitical conflict are blowing north from Ukraine as the Kremlin builds up its forces in the Baltic and Arctic regions. He said Russian-backed hackers had already attacked Norwegian institutions after his government's computer systems were disabled by a glitch and civilian aircraft hit by military jamming equipment. The addition, The Times, informs. To date, a large number of Russian electronic jamming systems are indeed located in the Murmansk region. However, experts doubt that Russia would take such steps as suppressing civilian aircraft. The only thing that worries Norway now is its radar stations and F-35 fighter equipment, which turned out to be vulnerable to most Russian electronic warfare systems, since now Oslo will have to make excuses to citizens about wasted billions of dollars and the country's lack of defense capability, emphasizes the specialist. Earlier, the Avia. Pro News Agency reported that the use of Russian electronic warfare systems Murmansk BN could become one of the measures to counter the West and NATO. Are you listening? Damn. Uh.